Good morning everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day and making some really good trades. And yep, yeah, let's just take a look at Bitcoin, see what's going on right now. Looks like uh, from here, from the wick, the previous wick, we've gone up, we've broken out of this, uh, in my opinion, this would be uh, a, 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 a bull flag, sorry, <laughs> I'm still waking up a bit and drinking that coffee. And yeah, we looks like we've broken out, but now we're starting to run into a little bit of resistance at uh, 50,500. And then there's, we're seeing some uh, profit taking, especially after the, the weekend we've had, you know, and you know, the people who just like saw their trading account on the stock market open, saw that they're up a, a bunch of money. So they're probably taking some profits, selling some Bitcoin as well. And now, yeah, we took a little dip and now we're starting to come back up. We're seeing a bit of a bearish divergence. Just going to analyze that right now. You see that we've made a lower a lower high on the RSI, but we definitely made a higher high on the on the price. And yeah, but that could that could, you know, be pretty insignificant because if we look at the larger time frames, doesn't seem too too much of a bearish divergence at all. Uh, this could go on for a bit you know there's still one hour left on a four hour candle this thing could definitely reverse up to the upside or even close above this line which would be very good holding in a support and then we could come back up to the upside possibly test 51,500. i really think there's going to be some heavy resistance up here there's probably get some very like there's going to be some heavy uh selling right there and if there isn't and we just blast through it i think once we start to clear the previous all-time high which was set at 65,000, basically uh, once we break that and we see new price discovery that's when we're going to see some immense volatility and some violent movement to the upside it's a like you know it's really going to start moving then because at that point there's no real areas of support like key areas to take profits probably psychological levels like 70,000 75,000 80,000 you know big numbers like that people are going to start selling 88,000 you know just numbers that you know come after another you know you're definitely going to see some profit taking there but yeah for the time being let's take a look at it not dogecoin we'll take a bit look at bitcoin right here on the weekly time frame I want to take a look at first we can see that on the weekly time frame it looks like the moment <coughs> sorry the momentum is starting to slow uh, the VWAP is starting to come down a little bit but the money flow is still in the green but the momentum wave hasn't completely completed so technically we could see a bit of a slowdown here and then potentially another rise up so maybe something like this where the price goes like that and then comes back up uh, not, not exactly like that but some, something like that uh, on the daily time frame though daily time frame looking pretty good yesterday yesterday we had a minus four but today it looks like we have a one and an eight actually not as strong as I thought uh, before I looked at it before earlier in the during the day looked like we had some pretty bullish numbers on the four hour it looked really bullish we had minus fives everywhere right here I guess overnight it's starting to get a little bit more bearish uh, not too worried though I think this is just like a pause in the trend before we start moving up to the upside on the one hour though we got a red X but we've seen these red X's before just like on Sunday we got that red X people thought we were rolling over we're going back to 44,000 ended up just being a small dip to 40 48,200 as low as that or 48,000 like just above it and then we went up to the upside back to 50,000 now we're at 50,000 we're getting rejected at 50,000 we might do the same thing take a small dip and come back come right back up all right the, the trend is your friend so go with the trend guys and we can even to take a look at the EMA ribbons right now on a four hour time frame we'll take a look at the EMA ribbons looks like we, st we are still in a bullish uptrend right here they have not crossed so things are looking up and technically the technical target the 0 0.6 0 0.618 Fibonacci target is at 50,969 so you're definitely gonna see some people front running that you can definitely see some profit taking before that you might see some profit taking there and then we come back down to 48 so just be wary be ready and yeah anyways let's get back into ethereum I want to see what ethereum is doing today on the daily time oh, sorry on the one hour it's looking a little bit bearish but on the daily time frame uh, looks like we could, looks like the numbers are not too strong for it going up but we could look at the weekly time frame as well which is a, I'm really interested to see the weekly time frames the larger time frames is what you want to look at 
kind of outlines what's going to happen for the week and yeah for the week it looks like it's minus 3 12 still bullish but not as bullish as before looks like we are slowing down just like bitcoin but all in all looking pretty good not too bad uh, we could actually take a look at that previous trend line that i drew uh, right here looks like we are retesting it again once again trying to get back into it uh, it, it's good that it keeps retesting it or trying to re-enter the the uh, the trend line that now it's resistance but we definitely want to see it as support if it can get back in and we confirm it as support again that would be very bullish for ethereum and, and i think we could be able to see price targets like four thousand dollars in no time anyways let's take a look at the spy this morning spy is looking pretty bullish pumping up to the new highs again we're probably back in the wedge let's take a look at the right here take a look at it yeah we're probably pumping up straight up to the to the wedge we're probably going to retest it some so sometime soon uh, let's go look at the spy right here yep yeah, on this on this on the index chart we are testing it right now we, we probably are going to break back into it looks like there's so much going for it right now and if we do break back in we're gonna see a new all-time highs 45,000 sorry 4,500 not thousand if we're going to 45,000 the government must have printed eight trillion dollars overnight <laughs> but yeah we'll see if it's going to retest and see where, where this is going to take us but so far all the breaks have been to the downside we've seen one two three breaks to the downside maybe four if you count this one so it's looking like it's ready to break down but every time we get broke broke down the price gets, keeps getting bought back up so just take that into account guys all right and take a look at the hash ribbons quickly make sure they're still crossed and yep they still are they're still looking good no problem there looks like it looking like our spot buy is looking pretty good as well on BTC dominance it's looking it's like, like it's coming back down for a little bit I think what's gonna happen is that we're gonna come back down to here all coins are gonna have a nice little pump right now and we're probably gonna do something like this where we come back down and then we bounce back up maybe form a W where we have to break this neckline and then from there on if the Bitcoin dominance comes back up it's gonna be a uh, Bitcoin season right no no more altcoin season the altcoins are so are gonna start gonna you're gonna see them fall a bit and profit taking out there and then money is gonna flow back into Bitcoin anyways I hope you guys have a wonderful day make some really good trades uh, we're making wonderful gains on our challenge account right now every day we're holding that long it keeps getting pumped up every higher and higher and yeah anyways you guys have a wonderful day make really good trades be safe peace